uh, the house always, the custom house always wants their share. So uh, this will go back to bear one, and he puts these. He shows you the stones. They do have a look uh, two small wooden stone. Well, not wooden, but uh, two stones, and they have a, a green glow to him. He shuts the lid and he says, Give Bearwin my regards. My bestest regards. This will benefit the both of us. Is there any arcane runes on it? Or? On on the dagger? Yeah. Uh, he holds it up. Yeah, there's some etchings on it, yeah. Hey, what would make that... an arcana check? Or... Sure, you, uh, you can do a, 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 a glance at it. Sure. You can give me an arcane check. Hey, oh... Uh, I wanted to know, uh, mm -hmm. what would that uh, dagger be used for, bud? Oh, these, this is this is a, an ancient sacrificial dagger. Sacrifice to uh, what god? I'm that that I don't pool. know. I, I, all I know is it's a sacrificial dagger. I have a buyer that collects sacrificial daggers, and, and Bear one told oh. me he had one, and uh, he's got a buyer for for dra pure, authentic drow seeing stones, and so we are making the exchange. But I have no clue who this sacrifice. All I know is a sacrificial dagger. Maybe you could find out. I I don't know. Well, if it's a drow buyer, perf uh, perf maybe it's for love. Wouldn't you think? I, I don't celebrate Loth. Are you kidding me? I left that. I left that rancid uh, religion years ago, decades ago. I do not worship that foul bitch spider Loth. I do not worship you know her. Something? That bitch. I like you, and I was wondering if you want to do a little more business. Well, possibly, dwarf. What, what are you looking for? We have some armor. That uh, and weapons that you might possibly be able to get rid of at a lower cost to your clients, and we were wondering if you would like uh, to do some under the table dealing. Oh, you! Oh, you are you are twisting my arm, dwarf. You are asking me to to break all of the rules of seven pillared halls. I like you, at dwarf. One quarter. I like you even more. I like you more, but I would like you even more if, if you said one fifth price. What what type of armor do you have, dwarf? Quinlan, be my guest. Well, we have uh, six suits of armor and some weapons that uh, we took off some blood reavers that attacked us on our way in. Oh, you oh, you you said blood reavers? Oh, those yes, bastards! Blood reavers. Oh boy. And you have their armor in your possession? Are you crazy, man? Some? Well, a smart man and business wise person like yourself in the Underdark. I hope you are hiding this armor get... well. Oh, it is. It is. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we're giving you such a good deal. And and what do you, uh, the only thing I'm gonna do with a dwarf is is melt it down into materials. That's why we're giving you so cheap, so you don't have to pay. Oh, uh, you you drive hard bargains. I uh, and what what types of these armors do you have? Is it metal? Is it cloth? Is it is it leather? Does we it, have uh, uh, some chain and five five suits of chain mail. Five, five suits shield. of chainmail, five shields, oh. and a set of half plate. And half plate. I will give you one fifth, and I, I will not report this to the custom house. And uh, I expect you will not do it either. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Well, let's talk price first. One, I will pay you one fifth. One fifth of what? One fifth of the value. So basically, one fifth of what the the player's handbook says. He's and he, you know he starts to. Uh, <clears throat> Gendar goes. I'm gonna have to have my employees 
strip all of this paint off so I it costs of materials and, and acids and then I'm gonna have to melt this down very time uh, this is probably going to take multiple hours to accomplish so uh, yes yeah, so and then I'm gonna have to put this back into a in a bar form uh, so I'm gonna have to give you one-fifth uh, to make it worth my while of course and plus it, it alleviates you from if in case the wrong eye sees your materials and your goods. So the weights will be. Uh, that what, fair. So what is it? What is it about twenty five hundred gold worth of stuff? No, it's fifteen sixty is what it adds up to. Fifteen sixty. So let's yeah. see. I will give you 350 gold. That's a little bit more than fifth. One fifth. But uh, I, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> you take it. You're more than welcome to take it over to the gem company. I'm. I'm sure they would. They would love to buy the. Buy these materials from you. But. Uh, but I can assure you. Uh, the the office good. Uh, uh, I'd like to have it soon. I'd like to get on it. Uh, I don't have a lot of things going on right now. And I would have a suggestion that we take it now. We can also pick up uh, some good armor for you as we go along. So well, our armor winner? situation is okay. Well, he's already but bought. We he have... spent all his money on on uh, on armor already, Gimli. But we still have, you know, Rendell says he has a buyer that might be interested, so... You know, I'd, I'd still like to hear back from Rendell. Rendell? The, the halfling? He's probably going to come here and ask me. No, 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 no. Not Rendell. Renfall. Renfall. Ren... You, you're talking about the, the halfling? No, no, no. I didn't say anything about a halfling. Okay. It's the only one that I know. Yeah, but you don't know everybody, do you? Well, seven pillared halls. It's not a very large place. Yeah, I didn't say anything about this person was in a seven pillar hall. Okay. So how how long is your your uh, offer good for? As as long as it takes to get the uh, the the equipment. Okay, so if we come back say tomorrow evening, the offer still stands. That is fine. I'm not going to wait away wait around all all for you. I, you know, I I'd like to go sure. home sure. At, at some point. Sure. sure. What Dyron, you say, thank you very much for the follow, Dyron. Appreciate it. I agree. I agree. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys yeah, for the follow. Appreciate it. Fart Mucky, thank you for the follow. Very good. It's a pleasure doing business with you. What? What's? A, are you here for anything else? And the, the beautiful, our, our, our layer of the seven pillared halls? Well... Since you uh, are in a stature that I uh, appreciate, and you don't celebrate law. A true bitch, my friend. A true bitch. Well, <laughs> if we can get business going your way, would you accept it? And, and what type of business ventures are we speaking about, Dwarf? Well, we can always do business under the table, like I said, as long as you're not caught. Next time, maybe your employees should not be in the same room as we do business. You understand, sir? I, I, I That's the way I always prefer it. I had no clue who you are. I, I didn't know if you were just passerbys or window well, shoppers. We are not novice now, are we, sir? <laughs> I would I would hope not. Okay, we got an agreement. Spit my hand off from my hand. Oh, I, I uh, got it. Spits in his hand a little bit and grabs yours and then pulls it away real quick. That is disgusting. The, yeah. mat, uh, the matters of the, the, all these manners of the dwarves, ah, uh, like a duagar. Uh, excuse me. I say in dwarves, they are not duagar. 
<laughs> At least somebody has common sense. <laughs> it's just you, a, it is a figure of speech. I don't like that figure of speech, sir. <laughs> I, I don't like to swap spit with dwarves either. <laughs> so, onward and upward, or outward, whichever we go. Alright. Good day to you, sir. Yeah, and to you. Wait. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Um, do you have any information about, let's say, the uh, Blood Reavers around here? Well, the, the, the Blood Reavers, they. Uh, well, quite frankly, I. And he's kind of looking around to see, make sure that nobody's listening like his employees. Well, word, word is of around that they're, they're into the slavery business. Nobody will confront them, and uh, the chief that they have is is a pretty strong foe. So who's going to challenge them? That they, they do not belong as as part of the seven pillared halls. They they have no living quarters here. They they do no business here. Not that I know of, anyways. It could be possible later. I I so have how no long clue. Has this been going on? Do you know? Uh, just just recently, probably within the last several months. Are they protected by the uh, the mages? Oh no no no! They, they, not that I know of. I have no clue about that. And you can give me a. Uh, you guys can give me some some insight checks. To to make sure that he's telling the truth on that. He goes, no, I I I I don't think they they have any business at all with the mages. The mages run a very firm operation here. They they. They are very demanding of the taxes, but uh, they they do protect the people here in the seven pillared halls. They, you know what they what they proclaim they they do pull through, but it, it is just quite taxing. It is you know thirty gold per head every several weeks. It's just that is a lot. It's a lot to ask. Okay, so I got a twenty-two. I'm gonna go ahead and my insight check. Uh, he seems genuine, from what you can tell. It seems like he's telling you the truth. He doesn't know of any other, you know, shady dealings with between the Blood Reavers and the Mages. Or I mean, there, there are a couple, there are a couple other shops in here. I mean, you may be able to. I don't know if you just want to to walk right in and and ask them if they know anything about the Blood Reavers. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure glad. I'm, I hope you haven't done that yet, have you? I hope I'm the first person that you've came and talked to. Seeing that you are associates of my good friend uh, Berwin. No, I, I would, I, I would really watch your tongue in here. It, it, you don't know who you can and you, who you cannot trust. It's as simple as that. Well, if you do have any more information about it, uh, please do send something, uh, a message our way. If possible, I will. and I hand him a, and I hand him about forty gold pieces. Oh, to well, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I I do appreciate that. I I just remember this: um, you are in the underdark. There are drow like myself. I I am not your typical drow. I, I do not I do not worship Loth. But there are people here in the Seven Pillars that do. There are people that there are Duogar. There are several illithids walking around. You, you will see deep gnomes, kobolds, orcs. And I'm not talking uh, the, the bastard half-orcs. I'm, I'm talking full-blood orcs. So just watch yourselves here. This, this is a, an unregulated territory, which is protected by the mages, of course. But uh, it is out of the typical jurisdictions that you are... You know the the Lord, Lord Warden from from Fallcrest or Lord Pad you know Padwin of of Winterhaven or the Hawkenvold. So just watch yourselves here. The Seven Pillared Halls is is, is a different. It is a different story altogether. I'll keep that information in mind. Thank you, sir, for your business. No, you are most welcome. <clears throat> Shall we? Yes, I believe I can. We shall. 
All right, so what do you guys think? I think we uh, should uh, take care of uh, these uh, blood reavers. Gim going right to town in the blood reavers. I if like it. The ogre gets in the way. So be it. Well, I, I like it. Sell. You'll just get out. Take them out. Well, I don't. Well, Gim, uh, let me. You're here. At, uh, you're here at location three. The map on the left. And this is the seven pillared halls. You know that the the chamber of eyes is probably about a mile walk, two mile walk to the east. So uh, you 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 see Brug around here in the seven pillared halls. You don't know if you're going to see him there, you know, to the east, unless he follows you there. But I, I don't think he's going to. He's, I don't think he's going to leave. He is the enforcer of the Seven Pillars Hall. So. Hey, Quaylen, you think you could track these Blood Reavers? They're out um, east in the Chamber of the Eyes. You think you can track them, perhaps? Maybe take a gander and see what we can find over there? I have no problem scouting out. You know, going to see what is in the Chamber of Eyes and what their numbers are and what their operation is set up like. Yeah. Well, no problem. Also, me being a dwarf and being aware of uh, the Underdark, I advise everybody to try to keep their mind closed when seeing a lithid close by. Think of something dirty and sexy. <coughs> that, ki that, that kind of... Uh, Makes them kind of jolly inside. <laughs> does it does it throw them off a little bit, Gim? Yeah, <laughs> you got to think of something nasty. Throws off those mind flares. Yes, sir. I love it. <laughs> Pizza sorcerer, thank you for the follow, sir. And if we run into succubi, you're on your own. <laughs> Lots to do. You get, it's up to you guys. You guys have the floor. You guys are out, out in front of. Uh, you're, you're out in front of the uh, old Gendar's place. What do you guys think? Well, yeah. Well, we should go check out. I'm sorry. Uh, we should probably go check out uh, the rest of Seven Pillar just to make sure. Uh, if you want to head to wherever to you want to go, you guys are more than welcome to go. So you don't have to go here. You don't have to go. It's like an open book. You guys can can go anywhere you want to. Well, well, since it's so close, why don't, why don't we go to number 14? Number 14? Oh, oh yeah, that is, yeah a, that is a that's a that's huge, a huge, huge Minotaur huge. statue that is up on a on a ledge. It's on a on a stone platform, and it's in the eastern part of the hall. And the statue is about 10 foot wide and about 30 foot tall, and is the statue of a full blown Minotaur. And the Minotaur is encased in bronze, and the arms are outstretched in a ritualistic pose. And you would be able to tell that, Ren. So no re religion check needed. So on the floor surrounding the statue, there is a, a brightly lit 20-foot diameter circle that is etched with gleaming runes on the floor. Yeah, I'd like to check those runes out. I'd love for you to give me a an arc check on that. So poorly placed religion check. Oh no, no need for a religion check. Oh right. Yeah, you can tell that. Well, you can see some Baphomet uh, religious iconage on this on this Minotaur statue. Now, Farlin, uh, with your check, you can tell that this is some type of teleportation rune. Where it goes, you have no clue. Okay. And it's out in the wide open. It's it's. I mean, it's literally out on this. You know, this ten foot high platform. You know, you, oh, wow. and you, okay. you even step on it, nothing happens. You know, jump up and down on it a couple times. Stick it with your thumbs a couple times. Nothing happens. Yes, yeah, so it's not too busy around. I'll inform the party that I believe this is some transporter yeah. device. Yeah, well, you to keep an eye on them. 
And I just, yeah, continue to look at it, see if I can pick any more up. No, uh, there's just, info. there's several of the runes on the ground. They're all the same color, the same style. They're, they're just teleporting, teleporting runes. You have no clue I'll where to go. I write them down nonetheless. Okay, sounds good. How about number eight? You're going to oh the those are the those are the pigeonholes that uh, have been mentioned several times and in, in the end you've heard the pigeonholes uh, mentioned you've heard them mentioned from from Gendar and these these pigeonholes are the people who take up residence in the seven pillared halls and if there is an empty pigeonhole those people are more than welcome to pick out that chamber and live there. You know, and sometimes people will, you know, allow you to move in. Sometimes they won't. Uh, whoever is the the caretaker of that residence, it is their choice. And there's, you know, it is just a a situation, and that's what that's what the some of the taxes go for, is the, uh, you know, the up, upkeep of these pigeonholes. Do I see uh, happen to see a gnome? in this general area? Uh, yeah, you can see several uh, humans, halflings, gnomes, some dwarves, you know, young. Probably, Gim, you would think that these are probably most of the laborers uh, that are probably mining down below in the Seven Pillared Hall somewhere. Or, you know, actually in this in the uh, the layer itself of the mountain. But uh, you, you, you don't see the gnome that you're looking for. You do not see him. All right. And there's, you know, there's there's pigeonholes, you know, on the, you know, all over the perimeter of the seven pillared halls. Okay. Uh, then if the group is following, I'm going to walk this way and look down this. Gimli this Grimm, tunnel. let me give you a let me give you a barrel, Gimli Grimm. I want to know exactly what's going on, who's there, and what's where in this place before we uh, take on anybody. All right, there you go, Gimlin Grimm. Now, where do you want to go? That's the party. Oh, you want to go over to towards the... Uh, this is the Shining Road. Now... On the keystone of the dark archway above this path is a chiseled horizontal line with a vertical line beneath it. It looks like some type of looks like some type of uh, some type of symbol. So, Ren, if you would like to give me a religion check, please. I think Ren. Sorry, I won't be able to. back in. Oh, okay. Oops, no problem. I'll wait for you to get back in. But uh, let's see here. Sorry, just a little bit of technical difficulties. No problem. No you gentlemen problem. don't mind me uh, giving you a guided tour, do you? Not a problem, Gim. I'm cool with it. You guys just do uh, do your thing, everybody. Okay, Ren. Up here, <sighs> there's... I can't hear Gim. Yep, give me one Religion sec. Religion check, please. Oh, yeah, just take your time. There's a, a strange symbol uh, that kind of looks religious a little bit, Ren. So if you'd like to give me a religion check. Could I as well? <clears throat> Having a proficiency in it? Sure, if you got a proficiency in religion, go for it. Even if you don't have a, a proficiency in religion. If you don't have a proficiency in religion, I just make it a little bit more difficult for you. That's why I'm not doing it. Yeah, Ren, you're you're able to tell. I mean, this is just a, a, a this is the one of the symbols of of an icon. Now, uh, above this is a it is a chiseled horizontal line with a vertical line beneath it, and you recognize the sign of that of Torog, the king that crawls. And this this leads into uh, Thunderspire Labyrinth. Hmm. This is. Danger, keep out. 
This is. It looks like this uh, symbol is above Torag, and it's uh, giving <laughs> right? caution and to stay out. Of We're going playing 5e this, Highway Pop. This passage. Seems like you're a place to go again. Well, uh, I forget what they call them, but the drow seem to uh, have a little war between them. And I'm going to do a history check. And also, try to remember what they are. There is a small notice on the door that says, Beware of the deeps that lurk in these halls past this door. You must keep this door shut at all times because we don't want these things running rampant throughout our seven pillared halls. Do we? And then it has a question mark at the end of it. <laughs> Do we? Okay. Question mark? <laughs> then that, that's a question to ask uh, the residents here. Okay, how about number 21 then? Oh, hey guys, before we go anywhere else, um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to head back to uh, that uh, shop that we just dropped off that dagger at. I I just got a bad feeling about giving that to him. Okay. The dagger? Uh, yeah. You were supposed to deliver that to him. Yeah, we already delivered it and all that stuff. It just, uh, after we delivered it, I felt nervous Didn't about the whole right. situation. Yeah. Okay. So... I'm gonna head back there, and uh, Dave, for me, I'm just gonna just scout out the place for the day and just see who's coming and going. Okay. Uh, you see that his sign is back to saying "open" again. You know, as as your party was leaving, you know, and, and as he thanked you and you know wanted you to give his best back to Bear One, uh, he put a sign back open, and seems like business was uh, seems like business as usual. You're kind of hanging out. Uh, Gim and the rest of the party, you're heading over to the very eastern side, and this is a a, a beautiful tower, and this is a, a a very large stone bastion, and it's a very tall tower, probably forty feet, almost to the top of you know of the earthy cavern, and towards the top of this tower, you can see several window slips in the upper floors, but no other no other uh, there's no door. And no other windows except for just the very top. And then, you know, basically this is this tower seems like it's just kind of looking out over the entire hall. And then, you know, it does have a, a, a some signage there, and it does say the Tower of Saroon. So this most likely uh, the wizard's residence, then, huh? That's yeah, a, that's what so. it appears to be. Yeah, yeah, again. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Oh, that Gimli Grim. That is the Dragon Door. Large, large, large sign of a dragon. Very, very large etched dragon above the door. This stone door. The the door itself is carved in the shape of a dragon gripping an orb in its claws and then there's a sign that says this passage beyond leads into the labyrinth and according to your map this is the way to the chamber of the eyes it's kind of what we're looking for yeah this is definitely the, the this is the route to the chamber of the eyes does it look like this Oh yeah, very nice Gim. Yeah. That's nice. Very nice Gim. So yeah, that is that is the dragon door. Very dusty. Very dusty indeed. So I'm guessing you're you're gonna make your way your way south and as you're as you're working you're working your way down south, you you see that there is a, a a man that's basically working out in front of his pigeonhole, and he welcomes you. Says, well, "Hi there, everybody. How's it going?" <laughs> and he sells propane and propane no, accessories. No, he doesn't. He goes, "Okay, I haven't seen you around the seven pillared halls, y'all." 
You, well, how long y'all been here? Oh, we just uh, got in last night. Oh, well, that, that sounds great. Uh, if you need any kind of guiding or anything, if 